With its reputation built on a history of shipping, Newcastle University's world-class facilities attract students and researchers from all over the world. And it's little wonder then that its School of Engineering is at the forefront of solving global challenges in marine technology, from emissions monitoring to building the ships of the future. For 150 years, Newcastle University has been at the forefront of maritime technology. Today, the School of Engineering's still on a voyage of discovery, leading the global race to make the shipping industry greener. From the university's campus, its research vessel and the marine station at the Port of Blythe, university staff and students work alongside industry counterparts to research and develop the new technologies needed to make ships more energy efficient. We've been embedded in the port here for a number of years. A lot of our graduates are out there working in a number of these industries actually here in Blythe. Alan Murphy, the group head, took me on a tour of the port aboard the boat they used to put their research into practice. Green shipping is one of our overarching themes here at Newcastle University and it underpins everything that we do in research and development, particularly working with industry to help them make the right choices and explore new ideas around how to create technologies that produce a greener shipping system. Monitoring the energy efficiency of a vessel is particularly difficult, not least because every ship is unique, but also because of the external factors like the weather or the sea state mean that every journey, even between the same destinations, can be different. So here at Newcastle University, they're developing new monitoring systems, but also new green technologies, which will help to make the whole industry more energy efficient. Monitoring is key as the industry strives towards zero carbon emissions, which is why the university is very proud to have developed Engine I. It is simplest, it's monitoring how much diesel is used and then you associate that with activities that the vessel is undertaking and that then tells you something about how well or otherwise you've used your energy. Understanding this and being able to solve the problem is internationally important. As all of the other sectors are, are now becoming greener, Shipping, if it doesn't keep pace, is going to stand out as one of the, the key emitters. This is where the university's Cavitation Tunnel comes in, one of only two in the UK. Lecturer Simon Benson told me it's used to test the energy efficiency of propellers in water and the so-called cavities or bubbles around them under lab conditions. Here we are two floors up in our lab at the test section of our cavitation tunnel and this loop of water that we pump around is like a racetrack. We need to come up through the final bend and we need to get the water straight when it meets the propeller so that we've got clean repeatable water quality for testing our propeller. I think it's a hugely exciting time to be a naval architect because we're going to have to make a step change in our industry in the way that we deal with the climate crisis, the way that we deal with this transition to new energy and also the way that we design ships and the propulsion packages that go with them. So I really am buoyed actually because I think the innovation that we can drive starting in facilities like this and then spreading out into the industry is going to be phenomenal and it's needed over the next generation. That's why Newcastle recruits ambitious students who want to make a difference to our world. As marine technology lecturer Mariam Haratunian told me, it's vital if they're to tackle such an urgent global problem. Not only we need students who are on top of their game when they come to do marine technology at Newcastle University, but we also want them to be passionate about more environmentally friendly technologies and greener technologies. Those who study here know just how crucial their work is. It's really exciting and you feel like you're a major part of it and doing ship design using all sorts of technologies. We get involved with different people in the industry. We know more people from renewable energy sectors and also get to collaborate with them and develop more of the innovations in our research and also in our projects. There's a global effort to reduce carbon emissions and there are some very tough goals that need to be met by governments all over the world 
very soon. The shipping industry being one of the most polluting industries should focus on finding ways to reduce consumption. As soon as our students start, they start hearing about the future of shipping and how we need to move towards greener and uh, more environmentally friendly technologies. And our hope is that our students get inspired by those and they take that further on because they are the future of shipping. What makes us unique here is a combination of the facilities and of course the broad range of the subjects that we cover. In particular, our connection with industry. What that means is our research um, is very uh, focused on applicability um, and how it can make a real difference in, in the real world. It's clear that Newcastle University's long-standing world-class reputation attracts students of the highest caliber. Their expertise will be much needed as the industry plots its course towards a decarbonized future.